So, today we're going to do a paint pour. Um, we are going to be using a few different colors. We've got black, gold, teal, and purple. I don't know if the colors are coming out as well as they could. Hmm. Okay, so we got our four colors. We're going to be using this big daddy flood flow draw. And I've got an 8x10 canvas. So I like to prop my canvas up on paper cups. Um, I put down a layer of parchment paper to catch all the dripping so then I can hopefully repurpose them into something else. And then I space out my cups like so, so I can balance the canvas on top. Let's pan out a little bit so you can see that. Like that. Okay, and so next we are going to get to mixing up the paint. I've got a cup each. for my different colors. And then since I'm going to do a flip cup, I have a fifth cup, which will be empty for now. Stir stick in each. Now since this is an 8x10 canvas, I don't need a whole lot of paint. Um, so I'm going to kind of eyeball it. Not going to need a lot of black. Come on. You know what? I'm going to go with a different bottle. This one's been sitting for a while, and I think it might be gloopy, which isn't really conducive to the paint pour. Alright, so we're going to blob some paint in there. That actually should be plenty for what I've got planned. Make sure you shake your paints real good. Bubble. I always find that bubble so satisfying. This one's a bit thicker. Now the black and the gold I'm going to use mostly as accent colors, so I'm not going to put as much in them. There's that satisfying bubble again. Boop. Let's see. I think I'm going to put a bit more purple in there. Some of these colors are a bit thicker than the others, so I'm going to end up thinning them down a bit so that they work better. There's that satisfying bubble. I do at least half and half. Sometimes a little more if I'm feeling froggy. I put my dribble. And then the mix in.
And since this one is still a little thick, I'm actually going to do a dab of water. Thin consistency is best, as it allows the paint to flow, which is really what we want. Dribble of water to that one too. Okay. Next, we'll do the purple. This one was really thick. Those Nicole paints tend to run a little on the thick side. So it's a bit more gloopy. <laughs> Still a little on the thick side. I'm going to add a little bit more water. much better. All right, and now on to the gold, which was also pretty thick, so I anticipate some extra water adding too. Come on there. There we go. Now we're seeing the gold. Now the Floetrol looks white, but it will not adjust uh, the color at all, as far as I've seen. It's not looking as metallic as I would have. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see the sheen. I think I've just got, yeah, a lot of paint sitting on the bottom. Let's tilt it so I can get better mixing. There we go. That's better. never poured with this paint before. I might add, this is more of like a glimmer or a gleam versus a metallic. We might add a little bit of another gold. I think I'm going to add a squirt of this folk art enamels. realize the focus may not have worked. Come on. Loop. Loop. Alright, we'll see how that does. And 
Is that what I wanted? Definitely going to thin that one up. Oh, that shifts nicely. Okay. So, we have our four colors mixed. Alright. Putting on my gloves. Gloves. Because this part is messy. Alright, so for the flip cup, you take the canvas and you put it underneath. And then you flip it really fast. I don't know if that got on camera. Okay. And this is where we wait. Just a few minutes. You can see some of the paint starting to seep out from underneath. Let's scooch you in a little better. Alright. Give it a few more seconds. Because so, the paint that was all down here is going to run down and meld together. Be the awesomey goodness. I'm gonna get some paper towels on standby because I know I'm gonna have a mess. Usually I have a newspaper set up, but I didn't do that today. Not sure why. Alright. And then. Blah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we tilt. lost a lot of my gold, but I still really like it. And we're going to do that. And I gotta figure out how to get these gloves off without dribbling all over everything. Now we're gonna zoom in for some close-ups. I think that's a pretty cool thing to do. A little bit of gold peeking through. I think maybe next time I would add some other colors. Got some weird black squiggle here and there's the finished product hope you like it I think it's pretty cool
All right, here is the finished painting, all dry, and I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. Um, we got the little hints of gold peeking through, and this kind of looks like a, a dude vibing. So, hey. All right, well, I appreciate you watching so very much. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye. Which, for pouring purposes, I'm going to prop up on some paper cups.